Episode of DVD reviews with Big G. Oh my God! Is it the holiday episode that quick? What's the What is today's movie? What are you going with, Big Something G? Something you could get for the holidays. Three out of the four Home, home Alones. Oh my God! Let me show these to the camera. Big G is going with a triple feature. Wow! This really is a holiday treat. Here you go, Big G. Yeah. So, or actually, I'll should I just keep this right down here as you explain? Yeah. Okay, take it away, Big You G. can have, it's all three Home, three home Alones of the four. It's very good. Starts off with the first one, because that's there. You know, everyone knows the original one. Kevin! The family goes away to Paris. You're taking a trip to Paris? Yes, we hope to leave tomorrow morning. Excellent. Have a good trip, bring me back up to French. He ends up being home alone. He's home alone. All that stuff. And Joe Pesci and the other guy are criminals working in the neighborhood. Crowbar's up. <laughs> the other guy is Daniel Stern. Yeah. They're the wet bandits. We're the wet bandits. There are criminals over at work in the neighborhood. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. I have a friend who got nailed because there was a rumor he wore dinosaur pajamas. It turns out his house, the house he was after all along. <laughs> and that's the one, Marvin. That's the silver tuna. And you know, everyone remembers that one. When he's like hopping around on one foot and working them all and having a train over there. You will get a merry little feeling. When you hear voices singing, let's be jolly. You know, he's because they was having a party. Oh God, we're rocking around the big G. Rocking around right the now. Christmas tree, yep. Yeah. Rocking around the big G. Huh. It's very G. Very G, huh? He was eight at the time. I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? But it was, it's a pretty good one. What makes you say that? Just out of curiosity. And he runs into the guy that's a his neighbor. <laughs> Everyone thinks his neighbor is a, a, something that he's not. Snakes? Oh, just like all the neighbors around your neighborhood feel about you. Maybe. You're sick, you know that? You're really sick. It didn't happen. What? It's a very, very good one. What's your point? And he's like always afraid of the basement. And he goes off to the store on his own. That was that was like my one of the best ones. The one where he was like screaming. I can't need to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. Otherwise, I'm in good shape. Ah! <laughs> it's not like a 30 year old. No. Yeah, he does, Big G. Thanks, Buzz. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the first? The first, first one, one is, um. Who is the family? Family suck. Do you know the family? 
Was that the McAllisters? The McAllister? Yeah, they're the McAllister family. You're right. And he, um, they pretty much end it with, um, them getting their butt kicked all over the house. Oh, oh uh, Kevin sets up various traps around the house. This is my house. I have to defend it. Yeah, but my favorite one, my, like, like, we forgot about the one, the pizza guy. How come he didn't bring more cheese pizzas? You know, they, he, they show, he shows up to deliver the pizza. It's Little Nero, sir. I have your pizza. Hey, it's you in the movie to get him out. Leave it on that doorstep and get the hell out of here. Okay. Remember to pay him and get him out of there? He's like, you in the movie? Keep the change, you filthy animal. Hey! Cheapskate. Hey! That was a good one. It was like a, it was like a 60 gang movie. <laughs> Other than that, what I really want to go for is um the ending of it. You know, when he's like beating them up all over the house. That was funny. That was funny. Oh my God. Entertaining and... They're right falling for all the traps that Kevin set up. Yeah, they're falling for everything. Okay, is there Mark! A... Harry? Harry? Why you take your Why shoes you take off? Your shoes off? Why are you dress like a chicken? Why are you dress like a chicken? That was a pretty good one. Okay, so Big G loves the first. Everybody yeah. loves the and first. And then he calls it. He calls them when he goes um. Earl, my house is being robbed. My address is six fifty six Lincoln Boulevard. My name is Murphy. The neighbor's house. Hey, I'm calling the cops. And they actually get him at the end. Hiya, pal. We outsmarted you this time. Get over here. It was good. I'm gonna burn his head with a blowtorch. Go ahead, smash his face with an iron. They get the um. They get the uh, the robbers. From now on, your trouble. They get the wet bandits. Yep. Yeah. We're the wet bandits. And the police know that there was them all around the neighborhood because of their calling card. No, 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 no. It's uh, Christmas time. There's always a lot of burglaries around the holidays. Yeah, the guy that he wanted him not to do. <laughs> you left the water running, didn't you? But he kept doing it. What's wrong with you? Why do you do that? I told you not to do it. Harry, it's our calling card. That's it. They just called, they just called it in and they were cutting. Nice, nice move. move. Always, leave Always the leaving the water running. running. No, now no, you know each and every house every you ever hit. You've hit. Oh my god, Big G, you gotta take a little tip from that when we rob houses later. You cannot do that. Oh yeah. Nice tip, thanks a lot. Okay, Big G, you gonna move on? Uh, is that it for the, the first home alone? I don't know, I don't, I, I, I hope not. That's it for the first one. I hope you don't mean that. Okay. I would like to add in a few things. Don't be a moron. I, I would like to, um, I would like, I like when Kevin's going through the, uh, Buzz's room, he's going through the, the trunk, he pulls out the Playboy, uh, what does he say? Do you remember? Yikes. Woof. Yikes. Uh, clothes on no, uh, jeez, I don't know the exact quote. You're what the French call les incompetents. No clothes on anybody? No Sickening? Clothes on anybody. There's something he Sickening. throws it. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of one of my... There's many favorite scenes of Home Alone. You like to add a few things. Uh, I'm listening. He's just being a jerk. Let, let, let me see. What else? Um, when... I actually... I like the pizza scene as well. Did anyone order me a plain cheese? 
until you get the kind of traveler's check that don't work in France. Oh yeah, that was great. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. I got the stuff. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. Didn't we talk about that? Yeah. Um, Kevin going shopping on his own. Wait, son, you have to pay for that toothbrush. Son? Shoplifter! Son? Hey! I'm a criminal. That was a pretty good one, yeah. I got to milk, eggs, and fabric softener. Ah, uh, then he spots, uh, who does he, does he spot those robbers? <laughs> Sandy don't visit the funeral homes, little buddy. Yep. And, uh, he takes off. Oh, him tobogganing down the, down the stairs. But this is Big G's DVD review. People don't want to... Okay, you take it away. Why don't you just jump into Home Alone too, Big G? Merry Christmas. Okay. I don't want to see you again for the rest of my whole life.